in a relationship, a man being vulnerable to the woman doesn't work. You're walking on thin ice is what I'm talking about. You are saying that, well, you accepted men being vulnerable with you, but they weren't in a relationship with you. The point that you use was friend zone guys. So guys that are vulnerable with you, well, there's a reason why you keep those guys in a friend zone. Now let's talk about the guys that you never had a relationship with that's in friend zone. They have no chance of getting your box uh -uh. at all. Uh -uh. They're too vulnerable with you. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's a multitude of other reasons yeah, why they're absolutely. not getting a box. There's Maybe no you're not attracted to them. It's yeah. a multitude of things. But say if they did work on their money and worked on their muscles and work on their game, he was still, so Jerry was sobbing to me. I don't look at Jerry like that. But let's say if Jerry wasn't sobbing to you and he worked on himself and he became more of an attractive, appealing man, but he wasn't vulnerable, you'll be looking at Jerry like, God dang, Jerry done stepped it up. No, but you can't see. That's why you're wrong about me. Because I'm, okay. Okay, again. I'm um, sure you do have yes. a bigger emotional threshold yeah. than some people. I'm just saying that you do have a limit. Mm -hmm. And men, there the is difference limit, is. Because I'm going to tell, you know, be yeah. open with me, but then I'm going to tell you like, okay. Okay, it's so, time to man up. I, I want to explain the differences. The differences is me and Andy don't have a limit. We are made to be the rock for a woman's emotions to mm. fall on. We are made to handle the woman being vulnerable with us. That's what we're made for and we're built for. You're not built for that. So when a man is being vulnerable with you, you have a threshold. So when I'm doing a podcast and I'm speaking about should men be vulnerable to women, you're walking on thin ice because you don't know her emotional threshold. And even if you try to figure it out, you're still walking on yes. thin ice. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I would say. Anything on that, ladies? You had something, right? No, I was just going to say that I feel like a main part that's missing from it is mentorship. Mm -hmm. So I feel as if, if a lot more men had mentorship and someone who they can actually rely on for guidance, they wouldn't feel the need to expose themselves so much in a relationship. Because granted, we do have a tolerance level but realistically let's say your guy is having a bad time and you have a bad time so now you are restricting your emotions you're restricting what you're saying you're not being yourself because you want to make him feel comfortable so granted we can do it but we actually end up adjusting our personalities and we kind of treat them like they're wounded a little bit in that moment versus treating them like they're the king and their boss you know so i feel like for men you know, that perception is needed for the ego and the pride. And when they do come to us and you see Superman is wounded, it does affect you a little bit. You might not call him to save you because you're like, shit, he's going through something. I'm going to call someone else. You start second guessing Facts. his reliability because of what he's going through. Mm -hmm. So, like, I've dated a guy, super alpha, and when he's going through things, he's like, baby girl, I got it. And I've asked him, like, won't you tell me? He's like, because I don't want you to not tell me when something's wrong with you because you're too worried about me. Thank you. If you just simplify it, when a man is vulnerable with you, it does not get your toto wet. Your vagina doesn't get wet at all. It actually dries up. Cactus. But to think about it, a man is being a man and a masculine man at all times. He don't want to do anything to dry that thing up. He don't want to do that. But the difference is when you're vulnerable with us, it's, it's nothing changes. There's no change. So we are made to deal with the woman being vulnerable to you, but you are not made to be dealing with a man being vulnerable to you. Sorry, I got something to say, but sure. I tend to make them sad with me or cry with me. So how would that? They vulnerable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't doing his job. So, and I, I just did this analogy before. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But it's like rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It's like rock, paper, scissors. So if you are always draining your emotions on a man, you always scissors and you always paper. He's scissors in his paper. It's just y'all cutting each other up. Yeah. No one's the rock in that yeah, scenario. Man. Nothing goes right. But now let's say it's just two emotional people just sobbing and, you know, it was like two girls pretty much talking. <laughs> like, what is that? That dynamic is a little yeah. weird. But when you look at it and there's your being scissors and paper because you're emotional, you're draining your emotions and he's a rock. Well, guess what? He could deal with that. Yeah. You'll be fine. But so aren't women more emotional creatures? So mm -hmm. why would we not be able to handle the vulnerability of a man? So this comes to emotional intelligence. Women tend to think that they have emotional intelligence because they feel more emotions. That's nonsense. Just because you feel more emotions, it gives you the perception of that. Oh, well, yeah, I'm so emotional. I have this emotional intelligence. Oh, That's wrong. Nice. Emotional mm -hmm. intelligence is having the ability to act 
despite how you feel. So it's controlling your emotions. Mm -hmm. Men tend to be more logical and rational human beings. One, we are lower in estrogen and we don't experience negative emotions like the woman experiences. Women are higher in trait neuroticism. So that means that they feel more negative emotions than a man. So you experience more units of emotions and also more negative emotions the man does. So you tend to think since you're so emotional and you're just dissolving in your emotions, you feel like, well, I, I, the man is an emotion intelligence because he's not emotional. Wrong. Emotions, there's a few good emotions in life. Love, joy, happiness, things well, like that. Because men don't typically deal with emotion, how can they have the intelligence of it if they don't really, they're not in touch with their emotions, they don't typically deal with it So like the intelligence comes from actually famous. having the experience or... Okay. Like, you know, going through something or actually like learning from, yeah, from the experience. So it's like, I don't get how they have more of an, of an intelligence over women where they don't really deal with their emotions at all. Good question. Oh. So I'll let you go after me. Okay, no problem. And Andy, if you got anything, cut me off. Let me know. So you said that the woman, uh, well, you said that men don't really deal with emotions. And aren't statistically women more mature than men? No. That isn't true. If you're talking about from a biological standpoint, biological, as far as yes, when a woman, women are, we're programmed to like, we're programmed from young family and, and children and raising and things like men don't. Aren't let's programmed. go back to that. Let's stick on. <clears throat> let's we're gonna hit that point that. first. Let's hit the first point mm -hmm. from what you said. You said that men experience men don't know how to. I didn't say they don't. I'm just trying to figure out how do you feel that they're more intelligent when they don't deal with emotions. Deal with emotions. Okay, it's because your view of it. You're looking at emotions. Mm -hmm incorrectly i'll explain why so emotions are not to be how can i say emotions are not to be expressed outwardly and i'm so we're speaking about negative emotions let's just be clear we're not speaking about happiness and joy and and love and stuff like that right, right. we're speaking about the negative emotions mm -hmm. negative emotions is not supposed to be you know dealt with outwardly right you look at a man and you think that what you're doing is you want to feminize the man because you're looking at the man as a woman you know that when you're dealing with things and you're but emotional emotion is a human thing it's not I got a woman. It. you know that when you're in an emotional state and you're going through emotions you express your emotions by crying by sobbing by being vulnerable you have your way of expressing your emotions from a woman's standpoint in your eyes you feel like i'm dealing with my emotions I'm saying that men deal with their emotions differently. Women deal with their emotions outwardly. No one cares when a woman cries or when a woman is a little angry. No one is losing their mind. But when a man is emotional and he's crying and he's doing crazy things, well, that's when school shooting happens. That's when he's robbing and stealing. That's when he's putting his hands on a woman. So when a man expresses his emotions outwardly, you feel the consequences of that. All of those men in prison are emotional men. So I'm saying that men deal with their emotions inwardly, right? So you have to overcome your emotions inwardly so you don't express it outwardly. An emotional man is a dangerous man. An emotional woman is... Well, okay, it's another day. Yeah. So how would <laughs> no, that make yeah. him intel? That's what I'm saying. So like, you just have a difference. Is that what I just explained? The emotional man dealing with their bat dealing with their negative emotions outwardly. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not intelligent. Is because you're more likely to do something degenerate. You're more likely to adhere to only your vices, to not have any discipline. Right. You're more likely to put you know put his hands on a woman. He's more likely to do bad things because he's dealing with it outwardly. So here's a psychological fact real quick. Men and women both show aggression. They both show aggression because this is kind of what we're talking about, emotions. But women show aggression differently by character destruction, by gossip and using innuendo. Let's say you're at home and you see your mother and your father, your father is leaving the house and your father says, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. And your mom's like, mm -hmm. that's in your window. Cause then internally the kid sees that. Well, why is daddy leaving the house? Is daddy doing something wrong? So it's an indirect way to see that. Well, what's going on here? So it's to destroy the character of the other person. So that's how women show their aggression. Men tend to show their aggression in a physical way. So by breaking stuff, by hitting things, this is why more men are in prison. It doesn't mean that women aren't in prison because they're not as emotional or aggressive. They just show it differently. Right. From well, the emotions. When we express it outwardly, it's not violent. 
Exactly. It Usually it's not. Right. So it never gets to the point of destruction. So how can a man who, what, <clears throat> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, where's the intelligent part come in where where men are more intelligent? I just, I just told you. Because it's very, but when a it man. becomes violent. When you express your emotions, no one gets, no one's panties is in a bunch. Like, if you got a thousand women marching and with, you know, mm -hmm. marching for something, they're like, okay, let's go to sleep. If you have a thousand men marching, they're obviously emotional about something. Call the cops. We got to protect our village. Gate it up. It's about to go crazy. No one cares about a woman. You're physically not as strong as a man. So no one gets their panty in a bunch when you're emotional. When a man is emotional, the reason why it's intelligent for him to not express it outwardly is because bad I things that you're, you're... This is why the man, when he can suppress his emotions and not deal with it outwardly, it's intelligent. And when I a woman just, just expresses her, her emotions... My not point is it just ahead. never can affects I, I, that you're in a sense saying the same thing because yeah. I think that when we're talking about emotional intelligence, we're talking about the expectation of how you handle your emotions. Yeah. Right. And if you think about it, even historically in humankind, there was even a time when even women were supposed to be very in control of their emotions mm -hmm. and very in control of their feelings or very in control of their face. Like, if you look at any classic show like Bridgerton or any of those shows, yeah. like, those women were supposed to be able to dress a certain way, look a certain way, carry themselves in a certain way, regardless of what was going on around them. Right. Like, they were expected to be ladylike or ladies and to kind of hold that. Guys were expected to be very gentlemanly. Women were sp expected to be very ladylike. Mm -hmm. And what has happened is as culture has evolved and as women have even become more free... They have been allowed more to be more expressive of their anger or be more expressive of their frustrations. And the expectation of men is that they do not be that way. And so now they're being required to maintain their sanity regardless of their emotions. And women have been more allowed to not be that way. And a part of the challenge of masculinity even today yeah. is that if we're now going to think that all masculine energy is negative, we're now going to expect men to be able to emote like women. And that's dangerous. It's dangerous for men to be able to freak out at their, the least little thing going wrong. Now we got the school shootings. Now we got yeah. men who are unable. Now we got men who are sitting in their basement writing their manifesto over a light bulb. We have an expectation as a society for men to be able to get yourself up, rub it and keep on going. Hold yourself together. We still had the expectation of men, but we have kind of slipped it now a little bit with with women. And then shows like Real Hives Wives or whatever. Yeah. Women are just burning dudes' clothes and putting sugar in gas tanks. So now we think it's okay yeah. for women to just act any old way in which they want to. And I think that that is something that also needs to be addressed. But I think that when we're talking about that that intelligence i think we're talking about there still is men need to expect it we need to expect a guy to be like hey listen just because you're upset doesn't mean you don't need to go to work just because you're sad or bothered doesn't mean you need you don't need to take care of business men need to expect that from men i think women need to expect it from women yeah, i think true. when women just think oh well because there's there are things that women can do horribly to men when they're upset. Lie mm -hmm. on them, say things. Women who are in a custody will accuse men of things that they don't do, and no one holds them the task on that. Mm -hmm. We all are kind of like, well, they were upset. So I think that women need to hold women accountable too <clears throat> yeah. to the way that they carry themselves in behaviors, you know, huh. and uh, so that. They can maintain their emotional intelligence. I think that when, right now it's just slipped. Yeah. And we still expect men to be like, yeah, but you, you, can but I dude, say something? you still got to get it together. Can I say something? So I hear what you're saying, but I think what her point is, is yes, like you're saying, a man is told to not show his emotions. So he's told his whole life not to show his emotions, be emotional. And now you're dealing with a man who does not know how to interact with a woman who has been told that her emotions are valid. She's saying she seems to be more of a 
emotionally intelligent person because she's been dealing with her emotions versus him who has been told to shove it down and Meaning not speak about it. I can be versatile, it. men can't. So well, the intelligent part comes from, I can sh act out and not cause people to die. Men can't do that. You, you guys act out and it becomes violent. Your and emotion. if I internalize it, then I'm doing the same thing as you. So the intelligent part comes in the fact that if I can act, if to me at least, if I am emotional and I get upset and it doesn't lead to destruction, then that to me is the intelligent. And this is what I, I wanted to, aware. that's the difference. So we got to huh? break it down a little bit differently. When in the emotions, men and women show emotions differently and they act out their aggressions differently. Women attempt often themselves more than men. Men are just more successful at it. The reason why men are more successful at it is because they express their emotions differently outwardly. And it's, they're more aggressive. I just explained the differences of it. So when we're talking about emotional intelligence, just because you tried to off yourself 10 times and it didn't go right, doesn't mean you're emotionally intelligent because you didn't go through with it. No, that that's just means that you're a coward. I mean, that is an extreme, but I'm just painting a picture here, right? So when we peel back the layer to things, it's very simple to understand. The emotional and intelligent person is acting despite how you feel. If I'm in a bad mood, I'm going to smile at you today. I'm going to talk kind to you and nicely to you today. I'm not going to express my bad mood on to you. Yeah. And I'm saying that women do that. Generally speaking, women do that. We can see it on your faces sometimes. We can, it's just it is what it is. Men are more emotionally intelligent because they're not expressing it outwardly. The thing that he just explained is that it's more culturally accepted when a woman is not emotionally intelligent. You understand? That's yes, all he explained. Totally it. So it's more acceptable when you lack emotional intelligence. Not acceptable when a man lacks emotional intelligence because it's consequences for an emotional man. So the emotional intelligent person, again, is acting despite how you feel. Oh. I was going to say I'm more of a science person, so I like to look at facts. And the truth is most men are analytical thinkers. Yeah, logic. Meaning they're mm -hmm. good at science and math, and women are usually good at history and English. Because history and English is subjective, you have to put yourself into <coughs> it versus math and science. It doesn't matter how you feel. The answer is Got to get answer. yourself out of it. Right. So I feel like what happens is when these two different mindsets get older, you have one perspective that just sees facts without emotion and another perspective that sees it <clears throat> specifically from their emotion. So I feel like sometimes, even as women, a lot of times we kind of, when, when someone tells us something, we get triggered because we think about our personal experience. Guys don't really do that. You know, they're, they're completely separate from the situation. They have that like third party view. So I think, I don't know if it's necessarily they're more emotionally intelligent or like Cooley expressed earlier, yes that the way they express it it's is different. not outward. Yeah, it's just different. Right? But in reality, though, it does become more productive for society, right? So I think that's why it comes off as more emotionally intelligent, because men kind of sitting back and taking that reform affects society less than women being outwardly aggressive. You know? Right, facts. You look like you're but crazy. even if you're not screaming, even if you're passive aggressive. Aggressive, yeah. So it comes off. A lot of tension in the room versus mm -hmm. my dad used to just kind of drive off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got? Chemically, we also often are more emotional by nature. So like every week, a woman has a different set of chemical compounds. Mm -hmm. And we have to also take that into account, which meant they are the same the whole time. So mm -hmm. they can deal with, you know, they don't have to be inside themselves during, mm -hmm. you know, their period and stuff like that. Besides That's when why. a man is horny, all logic goes out the window. <laughs> Hungry doesn't help either. Hungry yeah, doesn't help. Like I am Hungry now. and horny, the two like H's. Uh, yeah, it's just, <laughs> all logic goes out the window. I think it's but, a mistake to think that men don't have emotions, though. Yeah, okay. no, we do. Let me just say this, as you know, probably the oldest person here, that younger guys are different than older guys. Mm -hmm. So it's like the older you get as a guy, your emotions start to matter more to you. Mm -hmm. When you're a younger guy, it's like, yo, you just want it. When you're younger, you just want it. You don't care. You'll even sleep with people that you don't even like because your testosterone is so high, your sex drive is so high, it's your procreative nature. One of the reasons why older guys get divorced is because after a while, if I don't like you, it doesn't matter how you look. If I don't like you, mm -hmm. 
we got to be able to when you're younger as a guy you don't care but when you're older you need the lights to be right too you need the temperature to be right too and if you have pissed me off i'll just go get a bowl of ice cream mm -hmm. so <laughs> right now when you're younger it's very different but the older yeah. you get as a guy you do begin to to relate a little bit more and understand kind of where women were coming mm -hmm. from in the first so place. So can I ask a follow-up question? Okay. Dang, we got three at the same time. Ten. Let's just do it in order. <laughs> but who has the follow-up well, question? Well, I do. Yo, so let's go with you first then. Well, I was going to say that was one of the things that he actually expressed to me, yeah. that, yes, he finds me extremely attractive, but he is more focused on me as a person and how I am just if we match up mentally you know then the physical aspect comes in because if i'm not with him there mentally he's not going to have much really interest in me physically so yeah so, and when you but, get older as a dude you realize ultimately especially if you're in shape you mm -hmm. realize you get to give yourself as a gift so you giving you yourself got... as a gift that's <laughs> everybody don't get that yeah, okay. but when you get some age on you you start to realize oh you don't get this just because you're hot mm -hmm. i want to make sure that you feel me that yeah. i feel you that yeah. i like you mm -hmm. before i get to give this gift of me to you yes. and that's a part of what seasoning and just knowing who you yes. are that's a part of what it is. Instead of you just being a taker, 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 yeah. you actually realize the real thing that you're doing is giving mm -hmm. because guys learn how to give themselves an orgasm. Nobody has to teach them. They figure it out on their own. Mm -hmm. It's a sign that they're ultimately supposed to be an orgasm giver, not just an orgasm getter. Mm -hmm. So once they realize that that's the real goal, then they realize that they're the one that's given the gift. Now everybody don't get that gift. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of the reason why an older guy will be that way. Mm -hmm. He just ain't all about him no more. Yeah, yeah. And he's trying to figure out somebody worthy for him to actually give that to. Mm -hmm. you recommend the older guy? Then? <laughs> Ab right? Absolutely. That's a good question. I mm -hmm. think one of the things that we've gotten off in your West Indian from the West Indians, it's like one of the things that we've gotten off on is you're right in a sense that it's not that women are more mature than men. It's just that there's an expectation of maturity for women. And so I think that a woman who is 25 has way more in common with a dude who's 35 than she does with a dude who's 25. It's just the facts. And so sometimes what you all are expecting from a guy, he just ain't ready to give it to you yet. Yeah. He just ain't there. You're 26, you're 27, and plus you want to do it young. And so to be expecting that from a dude who's still playing video games, no shade, mm -hmm. but that can be tough. And right now we just have this expectation that you'll be the exact same age. I'm telling you, add seven years, add eight years, add 10 years. And if the guy's in shape at 40, he's going to be in shape at 50. Oh, if yeah. he ain't in shape at 50, he probably mm -hmm. won't in shape at 40. So what I'm saying is that the years don't matter, yeah. and it also helps you to respect him a bit more because respect is very important to men. It's huge. Y'all, it's love. For guys, it's respect. Mm -hmm. So if a dude's got 10 yeah. years on you and life experience, it makes it easier for you to respect him, yeah. which makes it a little bit easier to begin with. But that age gap can help quite a bit. Yeah. He explained it perfectly, mm -hmm. just so the audience can understand as well. And like what you're saying is, and pretty much what he explained is, the age difference between, like you said about, what was it? You said, who said that women are mature faster? Jazz. Oh, I, that was you. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, Jazz. Jazz. We'll get into that in a second, too. <laughs> so, yeah, the thing, the difference is, like, the reason why your man, well, the guy you're dating right now, he has more expectations, and you think that he's looking for other things than just your body. The truth is, yeah, that's true, but mm -hmm. it ain't just that. Trust me. Yeah. Men, it don't matter what age we is, we are attracted to beauty. Sure. So yeah, beauty yeah, is well, the yeah, first absolutely. thing that gets you in the door. But mm -hmm. in order for uh, us to have a relationship with you and see a future with you, it's the things you do outside of beauty. It's the mm -hmm. value you add to a man's life absolutely. outside of sex. And guess what? The reason why he is the way he is is not just the age. Mm -hmm. Because it's some... Um, 50 year olds that don't have those standards <laughs> at all yeah, no, so no. what it is is that it's the value that the man earned mm -hmm. so men aren't born with the value they have to earn their value so it takes time for mm -hmm. a man to earn their value and i mean sexual value the opposite sex is attracted to you when you're 18 you, the world's your oyster you get flown out you can go on a boat a yacht do what you want you're attractive to all men when we're 18 
we're scrawny, we ain't got no money, we broke, we ain't attractive to most women. So that means that we kind of take what we can get. Mm -hmm. So the fact that the older man has standards tells me that, well, he earned his value. He knows that, well, I got some options out here. And if I'm going to grant a woman a relationship, she not only has to be beautiful, but I have to see what's on the inside. Yeah. What value can she bring to me outside of sex? And that comes when a man earns his value. That's what I would say. So here's a question for you then. When you say value, yeah. like, okay, what would you want from a woman to bring to you in value? Like, like Men are you... simple creatures. Purity is something that's very good. Mm -hmm. You look for security which is a multitude of things, protecting, providing, giving you mm -hmm. stability and all of this. We look for purity. So what's pure in a woman? Well, a woman with not a whole lot of baggage in the past. Yeah. Yeah. So less is more when it comes to a woman. We look for peace. And if the woman is pure, it's a higher probability that she can give us peace because she wasn't molded by the world, molded by her exes and molded by society and all the traumas that she went through. Hmm. So if she is more pure, she's more likely to give us peace. And that's what we truly want. So no emotional baggage, pretty much. Emotional yeah. baggage is one okay. thing. So is this why emotional most older men baggage. like younger women? Well, men in general <laughs> asked men from ages 18 all the way to 60, where do you find women most attractive? What's the age range? It was from 18 to 25. That was the hover around. So from a man that's 18 to 60 years old, they all think the women that's most physically attracted from 18 to 25. Now that can differ. Of course, yeah. that's just a statistic. There's always exceptions to the rule. One man preference, maybe this also women kind of carry their beauty differently. Mm -hmm. Some women can look very young and, you know, go to the gym and stuff like that. So she can carry her mm -hmm. beauty for a while. But besides just the beauty, it's the purity. Like, and that comes with, the more pure you are, the higher likelihood you can give me peace. The less pure you are, the more damaged you are, the more things that you've been through and people put you through. So that means you got a lot of baggage on you and you're going to bring this baggage into the relationship. Mm -hmm. So this is why he said, you said he was 46? 49. 49. This mm -hmm. is why that 49-year-old man is saying, hey, you're beautiful, but what else can you give me besides your beauty? Mm -hmm. Because he worked on his value and he mm -hmm. knows that his time is valuable. He's just not looking for, yeah. you know, sex. He's looking for more than just you that. Come healed. Like, I... You know, I've definitely done a lot of healing. I've actually started to really find God and really focus on that. And, and I will say this, it's brought me a lot of peace. I think it's brought me so much peace that it's like I'm okay with times just being alone a lot of times. <laughs> And chat, we got y'all, chat. I see y'all sending in the super chats. We're going to get to the super chats. And we got the big bowlers in here today. So we're going to get to those in a second. The, before we get to the discussion of maturity, did anyone want to speak about something else or no? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Yeah. Any? Do you think the world would be a better place if men, didn't, men weren't here? So when I say That's that this girl, question I have no, written down. A girl, no, a girl, she asked, she said, you know what I realized? She said that outside is only dangerous because of men. So she was saying that, which is true, statistically, yeah. violence, men. That isn't true. Statistically? So out of 10 no. serial killers, there'll be one woman. No. Well, let's peel the layer back. You always got to get to the... Violence? Let's get to the... All wars. What were wars started by? Let's get to the root. Serial the killers root are caused cause. by women. <laughs> let's get to the root cause of things. Manipulation happens when you focus on the effects and you don't go to the cause. So let's not manipulate me. Let's not. I don't want you to manipulate yourself. Mm -hmm. I want to get to the root of it. Okay. So the root of it is that without a man and you were just here, you would have been eaten by a lion, a tiger, and bear. And guess what? If the lions and tigers and bears didn't get you, you wouldn't have the ability to gather enough calories for you to last. Because a woman can't manipulate the world how a man can. That's a fact. So without what a man... What I'm saying is without a man, it was done on survival. They had women on one island, a man, and a bunch of men on, on another island. And they had them there for X amount of days. Mm -hmm. The man, in just a, a short amount of time, a few days, they built a hierarchy <laughs> to things. The woman worked as a committee. They tried to do everything equal. So let me explain to you how a world would operate with only women and how a world would operate with only men. So a world with only men in a survival well, series. I let me finish. The same visitation, I got so you. I'm going to break it all down to you. So you need to learn this. So a world with only men. Well, guess what? Me and Andy, we respect the hierarchy. 
Andy is a pastor. I'm not going to ever go to his church and think that I have more knowledge than what he has in the Bible. He is a biblical scholar. I'm going to respect him when I go to his church. When Andy comes here, he knows that I have a podcast, dating and relationships. I'm doing my thing. He's going to respect that. We're not going to be in competition. We're not going to bump heads. When men and men get together, we know, oh, he's stronger here. He has this skill here. He got this. Let the best person work this skill. And that creates a hierarchy from top down. So what you do is you create a committee. And what you do is you start looking at everything in the egalitarian sense to equalize everything you get to. The men don't operate like that. If you ain't do enough, you're not getting to. Mm -hmm. You get zero. Put in that work and then you get that. Mm -hmm. This is why on a survival series, men, they was cleaning water fast, building fires fast because they created that hierarchy. They put the best person in position first. The women, they was trying to do everything equal and by committee. So they couldn't create any order, any structure. So they just, like some women was like quitting immediately and they didn't survive at all. Of course, they, the TV show didn't let them die, but theirs ended shortly and the men, they're finished the whole time. So what I'm saying is, your question is, you said that, well, It'll what would the world safer. be? Yeah, the world wouldn't be safer without men. You would have been eaten by some, you know, by freaking animals and stuff like that. You wouldn't survive nature. Men, and you got to think about it. Nature killed more people than any wars and anything you can imagine. So think about that. And men, we built infrastructure to protect the woman from nature. We built yeah. houses yeah. and stuff like that. So protect the woman. We yeah, give you this comfortability man. for you. But there are just certain bad apples out there because that's so how the world works. There's just certain bad apples out there in the world that men do bad things. And uh, men like us, we hold those men accountable. We tell those men, stop being emotional and work on your masculinity. Get in a gym and do better. Stop smoking and drinking and worried about all these vices. Mm -hmm. Do better. Have some self-discipline. And we create the laws, too, because we care. Because we have daughters mm -hmm. and wives and mothers yep. and sisters, yeah. and we want you to be able to walk the streets. Yeah. So, you know, when Rome made the Roman roads, it's like they wanted you to be able to walk the road safely. And, you know, so, but I mean, I, you know, I understand the... the I was just based sentiment, on, I mean, her you know? question was made sense. She said outside wouldn't be so dangerous if... That's men, because she looked sense. at the effects of things. No, no. And manipulation happens. That's what I'm trying to tell you, ladies. Anytime, because this is something that I learned when I was like 26, and it helped me out, and it helped... Because everything is influence-based. Influence creates thinking, thinking creates behavior. So you got to be very susceptible and careful of what you are allowing to influence you. And it's very easy to understand once you understand that manipulation happens when you focus on the effects and not the cause. Because when you said it, I knew automatically manipulation because that's not the root of it. Right. So let's peel back the layer and get to the root. This is why people believe in all of this. They believe that a person can be born gay. They believe that the world is, was didn't have a God. Talk about the effects of stuff before the Big Bang and before all of that other stuff. God was outside of it and that created. Well, what created the Adam? They keep on going further and back. Well, a man can be a woman. That's not even a root of anything. You're talking nonsense right now. We could tell that you're trying to manipulate us and you also manipulated yourself because you mm -hmm. believed it's nonsense. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good question. Did that girl create a TikTok? Yeah, she's pretty like about to... her name. She's a funny girl. She's from New York. She I, I'll, Send me that I'll after. I want to do a reaction yes. to her video. Yeah, We're going to yeah, give her a little bit of clout for that. We're going to do a reaction <laughs> to that one.